Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. And so yes, you are seeing the title of this video correctly. You might be thinking that this is too soon. Well, yes, there is the possibility that we could see some development as we're going to be heading into the new week. And so we're going to be talking about that in this video and if the areas are likely to be affected by this. And we're overall going to be taking a look at what could happen this hurricane season. Just going to reiterate uh, what predictions are already there and the likelihood of us seeing either El Nino, La Nina or neutral conditions as we head into the hurricane season. And so stick around to know all of that information. And so before I go into details... All right, so we are starting off with a general view of the Atlantic and we're seeing that things are pretty quiet right now. We do have a frontal system that is making its way out of the US, but aside from that, we don't see a whole lot going on right now. And this could be a big contrast to what could happen as we're going to be heading into the early part of the new week. And so let us go straight into it. So we are taking a look at the GFS model. And so this map here uh, is the picked in quite a bit but we are focusing on those black lines and those black lines they are called isobars and they are lines of equal pressure and so typically in the tropics especially during the hurricane season when we see them uh being in a circular manner with the pressure at least below 10 13 millibars we typically assume that that could be a tropical system that is trying to develop or developing because all tropical cyclones are low pressure systems so we're taking a look at those black lines and we're also focusing on those colors that you're seeing especially those greens that is what we're going to be focusing on here and so this is by monday on the 18th of april and so we are seeing that we have quite a bit of precipitation which is marked by all those green shades in sections of the caribbean and also north of the caribbean region right there and we do have an area that might have a little bit more convection going on right there that little area that's highlighted in yellow with a little bit of red in it so we are seeing that things are starting to come together a little bit for this and so as we head to tuesday though on the 19th of april here we are seeing a little bit more rotation going on with the system with a minimum pressure of about a thousand nine millibars so that is below 10 13 millibars so uh we are seeing that this thing here could possibly intensify maybe into a weak uh, tropical cyclone here and a lot of precipitation is going to be happening prior to this if this is the outcome uh, in sections of the Caribbean including Hispaniola, Puerto Rico and even sections of the Virgin Islands and Lesser Antilles and maybe the Turks and Caicos Islands as well they could see increased precipitation uh, because of that system there that might develop and so we are seeing here that this thing here is going to be making its way up to the north by the 20th of april on wednesday and it could result in some increased precipitation or maybe some stormy conditions in the vicinity of bermuda so again guys this is just a prediction it's just a model run and things are bound to change and so after that frontal system that I showed you earlier, after that moves out, uh, there's going to be another making its way down. And so that is where we could see the origin of this possible system developing here. And I'm using these keywords because it is not guaranteed to take place. We really have to wait and see. And it is also a little bit rare to see tropical systems develop in the month of April, but it is not impossible. The last time we've had this was uh, back in 2017 when Arlene developed on the 19th of april and before that it was all the way in 2003 where we had anna developing on the 20th of april so we're seeing that within the last about 20 years or so uh, there have been only two tropical cyclones that have developed in the month of april the vast majority of off-season storms develop within the month of may and so if you watched my previous video uh you would have seen where i made mention of the amount of storms that develop in each month and may has the highest total i believe it's about 52 storms uh ever since storms have been recorded that have developed in the month of may it happened last year it happened in 2020 it happened in 2019 and uh, i think it's certainly possible again even though we 
might see where we have this system here develop in the month of April. I still think that we could see maybe a storm or two develop in the month of May because that has really been the trend. And so if we even have uh, the system here develop into a tropical cyclone, it will make this year the eighth consecutive season where we have preseason development. And the first name on the list for this season is Alex. And coincidentally, back in 2016, Alex was an off season storm. It developed on the 12th of January. And it also originated in the same area that GFS is predicting that uh, this system here might originate. So that would be quite a coincidence if it is actually the outcome. But let's go ahead and take a look at other models so gfs is not the only one that is hinting towards something possibly forming up next we have euro so euro here is showing uh that by the 18th of april on monday we are going to see that increased precipitation in sections of the caribbean and also surrounding areas out in the atlantic but the model does not go further out from that point but we are seeing where it is showing that increased precipitation and so next we have icon which is also agreeing with this so icon is also hinting towards us possibly seeing all of that increased precipitation and that system trying to develop so here we have three models that are hopping onto this but the most consistent of the three is the GFS model and I would not be surprised if this is the actual outcome but it is important to know that this does not have to take place guys and so the National Hurricane Center has not given any outlooks regarding this system here but if they do I will uh, keep you guys updated on that of course and so now let's go ahead and take a look at the Enso region here so this area out in the Pacific highlighted in blue that is off the coast of South America and extends to the east that is what is called the Enso and now it is highlighted in blue which indicates that ocean temperatures are cooler than usual uh, and we are in a La Nina so that is what indicates that we are in a uh, La Nina and so uh, whenever we have La Nina being present or persistent we typically see a lot of tropical cyclone activity taking place in the Atlantic region because there is a decrease in that vertical shear which really helps to rip up tropical cyclones and prevent them from developing. So whenever we have cooler than normal temperatures, things are more quiet in the eastern Pacific which results in more favorability for us to see development over in the Atlantic. And so uh, predictions so far have been highlighting that we will likely see an above average hurricane season again this year and so guys we really have to just wait and see what the eventuality is going to be but as of right now i would say if you're in sections of the north caribbean uh be prepared for some increased rainfall there is the possibility of that happening also the possibility of us seeing another preseason storm develop in the month of april but there is no certainty at all right now. So we really just have to wait and see what is going to be happening. And of course, I'm going to be keeping you updated as time goes by. And so guys, that is it for this update video. And if you found it to be quite informative, please give a thumbs up. And you can also share your thoughts with me in the comments or ask a question. I will try to respond as best and as soon as I can. And of course, remember to always be wise.